into the straight, two flights to jump, and it's Makita Ricks and Ruby Walsh off the bend, three clear. Motcombe Street, Big Ben, wait here, coming out of the second last, and it's Makita Ricks, the leader. From on the outside is Motcombe Street, down there, wait here, but it's all Makita Ricks racing down to the final flight. Coming now towards the last, Makita Ricks and Ruby Walsh jump it well, slight peck at the back of it. But up towards the finish, McKeterix will make a successful start here for Team Close Sutton. McKeterix home by 15 lengths, if not more. Motcombe Street second. Into the straight, two flights to jump, and it's McKeterix and Ruby Walsh off the bend, three clear. Motcombe Street, Big Ben, wait here. Coming out of the second last, and it's McKeterix the leader. From on the outside is Motcombe Street, down there, wait here. But it's all McKeterix racing down to the final flight. Coming now towards the last, Makita Ricks and Ruby Walsh jump it well. Slight peck at the back of it, but up towards the finish, Makita Ricks will make a successful start here for Team Close Sutton. Makita Ricks home by 15 lengths, if not more. Motcombe Street second. Third is Big Ben, then Larry Gell and Alicious Onguino, and Dark de Tubetta. And yet to get up after his second last flight for Jody McGarvey, the jockey of weight here. It's Manila Bow and Ruby Walsh in front as Morgan goes second for Chris Meehan. And they've shaken aside. Cinema de Cartier as they come down towards the second last. On the right, the half colours of Manila Bow with Morgan challenging the near side. Made a slight mistake, Morgan, but possibly has just got the advantage now as they come down to the final flight. And Morgan has raced on from the odds on favourite Manila Bow. And Morgan is over the last safely from Manila Bow, who's got very tired as they run up towards the finish. It's Morgan and Chris Meehan coming right away to win the Shanti McElligot Memorial. It's Manila Bow and Ruby Walsh in front as Morgan goes second for Chris Meehan. And they've shaken aside. Cinema de Cartier as they come down towards the second last. On the right, the half colours of Manila Bow with Morgan challenging the near side. Made a slight mistake, Morgan, but possibly has just got the advantage now as they come down to the final flight. And Morgan has raced on from the odds on favourite Manila Bow. And Morgan is over the last safely from Manila Bow, who's got very tired as they run up towards the finish. It's Morgan and Chris Meehan coming right away to win the Shanti McElligot Memorial. In second place, Manila Bow, beaten a good 15 lengths in the end. And then Cinema de Cartier, and just clearing the final flight, Kinnego Boy. And it's Queen Khaleesi from Connor Cross. As going third is Tough But Honest, then Calypso Calange, followed by Granny Biddy Brave Deed, Cotton Vale from the back, and also improving is Arctic Pearl ahead of the Bally Boys, then Old Time Melody, and sure what's the rush, they're coming down towards the second last. Tough But Honest, Ruby Walsh move alongside Queen Khaleesi and Adam Short, then Granny Biddy the inside for Dirty McInerney, followed by Brave Deed as they race for the final flight, and it's Tough But Honest, on the near side, Granny Biddy the inside and it's Granny Biddy away from the last in the lead from Tough But Honest and Queen Khaleesi and up towards the finish it's Granny Biddy for Dirty McInerney and Mick Winters beating Tough But Honest by two and a half Tough But Honest, Ruby Walsh move alongside Queen Khaleesi and Adam Short then Granny Biddy the inside for Dirty McInerney followed by Brave Deed as they race for the final flight and it's Tough But Honest on the near side, Granny Biddy the inside and it's Granny Biddy away from the last in the lead from Tough But Honest and Queen Khaleesi and up towards the finish it's Granny Biddy for Dirty McInerney and Mick Winters beating Tough But Honest by two and a half then Queen Khaleesi Brave Deed and the Bally Boys Racing round the home turn in Lake Milan and David Splane. Just Ted Kilcarry Bridge and Danny Mullins. Coming up between them, Highland Fling and Jer Fox. Then Charlie Stout, Naaman Corbett at two out. And Highland Fling in between horses. Comes to just pick it up from Lake Milan. Kilcarry Bridge, Charlie Stout. Cross you boy, dot of the final flight. And it's Highland Fling and Jer Fox in the lead. Over the last made a slight mistake. But on the run into the closing stages in the MJ Carolaro handicap hurdle. It's Highland 
Highland Fling continuing a good list hole for Gavin Cromwell as Highland Fling draws away the win from Charlie Stout, Kilcarry Bridge, Lake Milan. Racing round the home turn in Lake Milan and David Splain. Just Ted Kilcarry Bridge and Danny Mullins coming up between them. Highland Fling and Ger Fox. Then Charlie Stout and Eamon Corbett at two out and Highland Fling in between horses. Comes to just pick it up from Lake Milan. Kilcarry Bridge, Charlie Stout. Cross you boy. Dot of the final flight and it's Highland Fling and Ger Fox in the lead. Over the last made a slight mistake but on the run into the closing stages in the MJ Carolaro handicap hurdle. It's Highland Fling continuing a good list hole for Gavin Cromwell as Highland Fling draws away the win from Charlie Stout, Kilcarry Bridge, Lake Milan, cross you boy, then Camlin right down the middle, get out when you can. And it's Vinny Look and Jamie Codd trying to get away from them here. Leads off the home turn three lengths with Capture the Drama. Spencer Hill runs on. Then Black Scorpion, I can say, and King Blue is trying to get into it. Up the straight they come with two fences left to jump. And the JB North Kerry Tar Centre qualified riders handicap chase. And it's Vinny Look, the leader on the right at two out. From I can say, then Spencer Hill capture the drama. King Blue and Black Scorpion down to the final fence. Vinny Look with I can say finding renewed effort for Johnny Barry on the near side as they run up towards the finish and I can say has come battling back for Johnny Barry and races on in the closing stages to win for John Ryan and the Walshers with in second place Vinny Look up the straight they come with two fences left to jump and the JB North Kerry Tar Centre qualified riders handicap chase and it's Vinny Look the leader on the right at two out from I can say then Spencer Hill captured the drama, King Blue and Black Scorpion down to the final fence, Vinny look with I can say, finding renewed effort for Johnny Barry on the near side as they run up towards the finish and I can say has come battling back for Johnny Barry and races on in the closing stages to win for John Ryan and the Walshers with in second place Vinny look then capture the drama with Spencer Hill, King Blue and Black Scorpion next, the other Two pulled up, my hometown and Canale. It's Tulpar in front from presenting Mahler on the outside. The pair have opened up an advantage over Show and Go and Marchese Marconi. Coming down to the second last now and presenting Mahler on the near side. Jumps to the front, heads Tulpar, racing down to the final fence in the Charlie Chute Memorial and it's presenting Mahler on the near side who flew the last. In second is Tulpar and they're well clear of the remainder and it's presenting Mahler going to bring up a fine double for John Ryan. Presenting Mahler two lengths too good for Tulpar show and go third it's Tulpar in front from presenting Mahler on the outside. The pair have opened up an advantage over Show and Go and Marchese Marconi. Coming down to the second last now and presenting Mahler on the near side. Jumps to the front, heads Tulpar. Racing down to the final fence in the Charlie Chute Memorial and it's presenting Mahler on the near side who flew the last. In second is Tulpar and they're well clear of the remainder and it's presenting Mahler going to bring up a fine double for John Ryan. Presenting Mahler two lengths too good for Tulpar show and go third Marchese Marconi four then Aspen Colorado Kalini Court Montes Meadow pulled up Coming down to the final two fences in the Allman Contracts Limited Novice Chase it's Ratvinden and Ruby Walsh way out in front at two out and safely over just got the top of it but has a substantial lead coming down to the final fence Ratvinden at the last, much better there, and is set to bounce back from a defeat last time. And it's a seventh winner of the meeting for Willie Mullins as Rat Vinden and Ruby Walsh come home hard held from three wise men, sea light. And Hand of the King pulled up. Coming down to the final two fences in the Allman Contracts Limited Novice Chase, it's Rat Vinden and Ruby Walsh way out in front at two out and safely over. Just got the top of it, but has a substantial lead coming down to the final fence. Rat Vinden at the last, much better there. And is set to bounce back from a defeat last time. And it's a seventh winner of the meeting for Willie Mullins as Rat Vinden and Ruby Walsh come home hard held from three wise men, sea light, and hand of the king pulled up. 
into the straight they come, Brahma Bull with on the outside trying to move up and deliver a challenge, Hum Baby, then all big princes come under pressure as they're on the bridges, drop back, they're in the straight now with less than two to go and it's Brahma Bull from Hum Baby on the near side, they're followed by all big prince and around the bridge, racing towards the final furlong and it's Patrick Mullins and Brahma Bull in front from Hum Baby and Laura Hardigan, there's a couple of lengths in it now as they begin the race to the final 150 and it's Brahma Bull going away from Hum Baby as they run up to the finish and Brahma Bull maintains a 100% record for Patrick and Willie Mullins, second Hum Baby, third Old Big Prince, into the straight they come, Brahma Bull with on the outside trying to move up and deliver a challenge, Hum Baby, then Old Big Prince who's come under pressure as they're on the bridge has dropped back, they're in the straight now with less than two to go and it's Brahma Bull from Hum Baby on the near side, they're followed by Old Big Prince and around the bridge, racing towards the final furlong and it's